Hello everyone, welcome to a special episode of Codename News for Viewers 2. Hi, I'm your presenter, Shibu RU. Today is actually, um, well I've decided I have a little free time, so for shits and giggles, I'm actually in um, a spare room where I'm setting up the second CRT TV set um, as part of my retro room collection. If you guys have seen my videos in the past, you'll know that I have two CRT sets um, running basically 13 old school systems. So today I'm hooking up the big Panasonic um, 37 inch TV and this thing is a beast. Um, you can't, I, I can't move it. It's the old school TVs. These things are monsters. So what I've done so far, and I'm just gonna pan out. I hope no one gets sick with the camera shaking. But if you guys recall, um, this TV set is going to be running one, two, three, four, I think five, five or six. And you see here the mess of wires and some of the systems. I don't, I will not be hooking up the NES and SNES because, uh, the main, the modern TV has the minis with all of the, um, the hacked with all the games on it. So those basically now they're just, you know, shelf decorations. So I'm going to, well, we, I hooked up the PlayStation. So here, we'll put that here. And you're going to join me for a test. So what I'm gonna do is hook up This is the N64, and this one is GameCube. And the mighty PS1. Now this is the, the first, the, can, if you can believe this, this is the original first release of PS1. You would know that because on the back, there's actually a IEEE printer port right here. So this thing could actually hook up to one of those old school printers. I, I, I know uh, other retro, probably retro video gamers will know what that was for. Maybe it was for expansion. The ironic thing is that, you know, this PlayStation, if you guys don't know your history, was supposed to be an attachment for the Super Nintendo. And because of some last minute, um, Sony just basically got fed up with Nintendo and said, you know, we're going to beat you at your own game. So thus the PlayStation was created. Okay, so one of the things that I recommend people to do is get a splitter. So you see this splitter is having one input into the TV and it's running these three systems right now. I still have to hook up the Wii, but we're gonna do a test and see how, all right. Let me get a game for that. The other thing that makes this my PlayStation unique is that it is modded. So this is a a kind of collection that I have here. <laughs> this is all burned games from Blockbuster and West Coast Video. So we're going to put a game in here. Open. We're going to put a game in here, and we'll put in Super Mario 64. And where is a GameCube game? 
my wife kind of organized stuff. So there's things I can't find, but I don't want to complain because then she'll yell at me. Okay, so where is it? There we go. GameCube, we'll play Robotech. So we're going to Robotech into the GameCube. Meanwhile, my cat is wants to get into the closet. Look how they, look at this. Look how naughty at this. Nissa, Nissa, what are you doing? There you go, you brat. Okay. So here we go. Let's fire these systems up. One, two, and three. Let's turn on the big boy. Wait a minute, I know what I do. I'm an idiot. It would help if I hooked the audio video cables from the splitter to the TV. I'm an idiot. All right, here we go, let's give this a test. So I put in video one, oh, there we go. So this is the PlayStation, and now I'm going to switch to GameCube. Uh-oh, and N64. Where are you? And there you go. N64. So again... This is running three systems, and all you have to do is toggle between them. One, two, three. So that's how I'm able to have like a 13 systems in my retro collection. T I, I probably doesn't look good, but. The CRT set is, this is such a beautiful TV set. Okay, now we're going to fire up the Wii. Oh, uh, let's see. Power. Mm -mm, power. Oh. Oh, there we go. Also, I recommend if you're not familiar with Wii, this is the wireless controller. Then let's get to the right input. I think I put this on too. There was video one. Okay. Oh, it's such a puzzle to do. All right, and there we go. We got the Wii working. The Wii remote. Oh, this is going to be trouble with the bed here. Oh, I didn't think of that. Let's 
see if I could do this this way. Come on, dude. Oh, I saw the hand. Let me see if I can move back. Maybe that'll do it. There we go. All right. So right now we have one, two, three, four systems hooked in onto the Panasonic. I think that'll be enough for today because you see I have to clean up before I get yelled at. <laughs> um, but this is Shibu Are You signing. Oh, before I sign off, like um, I'll be doing like, um, I still have to go outside and finish up the other CRT, which has the Dreamcast, original Xbox, PlayStation 2, and Sega Genesis. So I have, I think the only thing I'm having problems with is the original Xbox, and that's the power cord to that. But um, I thought this would be a fun video to do to show what a pain in the ass this is. <laughs> so um, it, I highly recommend getting the NES and Super Nintendo and the Genesis minis and figuring out how to hack them because as you see, this thing with all the wires and stuff. I mean, it's fun to have these systems. Like, you know, you, you can't, like having this is like phenomenal. But anyway, um, I thought this would be a kind of cool video to share. And something, you know, since we're in the middle of Cobra Convergence 5, I just wanted to show something different um, that would be fun. Anyway, this is Shibu RU signing off.